What is up you guys? Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and today we are testing out this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. Now to get real with you, to get really, really, really real, you know why I bought this mascara? Because Raw Beauty Christie has had it in like three or four episodes already this month and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try it. And I was just out of my Better Than Sex mascara finally, so it's like before I go and repurchase that, let me see if there's anything else to try and I'll try it for you guys and we will see how it makes my lashes look. To be honest, she's talked about it, but I never like looked at her lashes. I always watch her videos when I'm working out at the gym because that's like the only time I really have to like sit and watch it so I'll be on the treadmill and I'll just listen to her thing sometimes I'm watching it but I don't I didn't really catch like how it actually made her lashes look but she seemed to be raving about it and Ulta is currently having their fall 21 days of beauty and this is on sale at the moment so at the time of posting this I believe you still have a week to get this if you do like the turnout it originally retails for $20 and I got it for 12 so eight dollars off pretty good deal as long as it works so if you would like to see how this works on my lashes as well as an eight hour wear test then you know what to do just keep on watching by the way don't mind my hair today um i didn't feel like doing it <laughs> So if you are new to my channel, how I like to do on my mascara tests, try on first impression type of reviews is I just have obviously basic makeup, all my foundation and everything's done, but I leave my eyelids blank so you can really see how the mascara works. I have no liner on anything like that. So I'm gonna zoom you in and right after we read about this, all the claims really say is 200% thicker lashes, 314% increase in lash curl on the side of the box. Not really anything else other than that. Packaging is super cute. Yeah, it's very London-y, very much so. I'm pretty sure this is giant. It was really hard to find this in my Ulta. Uh, I had to like scrounge around, go back and forth, and then I finally found it on a like, just a mascara stand with a bunch of different recommendations from all different brands. And there she was at the very bottom. They didn't even have it on the 21 Days of Beauty stand. So this is what it looks like. I'll show you it up close. All right, here she is. Double Decker Lashes, okay, Butter London. Let's see what the wand looks like. I haven't even looked at it yet. And like I said, I don't remember what, oh good. It's a nice standard wand. I kind of thought it was gonna be ginormous just because of the name. And apparently I didn't actually watch it on three of her videos. I was just listening. So that's pretty cool. So far so good. Hello, nice and zoomed in so you can see everything. So this is how my lashes look without curling, without anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and curl them because that's what I always do before I apply mascara. Curling lashes make, for me, it's vital. I have some sparsely, sparly, crazy guys on the end and I try to curl them as much as possible, but it is pretty challenging. It is a very big tube. How many ounces are in here? 0.41 ounces? Off the top of my head, I don't know if that's a lot or a regular. I don't, I don't know, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've done a mascara video. My last mascara series, I think was in the spring. So if you guys are craving a new mascara, seven days of cruelty-free mascara series, definitely drop a comment and let me know if you're ready for another one. Are there a lot of new launches? I don't know, I haven't heard about too many. I do wanna try the Hourglass one. That one looks pretty crazy. Let's just try this one today that, ooh, okay. That didn't take very many coats at all, and she's getting good. Now, I mean, full disclaimer, again, if you're new to my videos, I do have pretty long lashes as it is. Um, some people get mad when I apply fake lashes, but to me, it's just like, I like the more uniform look, but um, yeah, this isn't a review for short lashes. I do have long lashes. They go through an in-between stage where they look funky and like sparse, and then I go through stages where it looks really good. So, so far I'm liking this. I mean, I'm only a couple coats in, but that is only one dip and I still have plenty left on my brush. It is very thickening, a little bit of lengthening. Now that I've been going over it quite a few times, it's starting to clump up a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And um, sometimes I go back after the other eye, but I just wanted you guys to see the difference. Okay, going with the other side both sides. So now I'm gonna go in with the first side, not redipping my brush, but just see if I can add a little bit. So that's usually how I do it. Once the first side's dry, I kind of go back a little bit. 
See if I can layer any more because then it prevents it from kind of getting clumpy most of the time, depending on the mascara. Kind of like fan it out a little bit. Uh, okay, that's plenty. If I do any more, it's gonna start getting clumpy. Now let's go back over here. Again, not re-dipping, just using whatever's left over. I'm kind of using it as a comb. Now I'm gonna go in with my lower lash line. This doesn't look like the type of brush I like to use on my lower lash line, but we gotta try it out, right? Not everybody likes to buy two different mascaras for their lashes. I'm not even re-dipping it and it still has product on there. So the wand is very uh, good at picking up product. That actually worked pretty well on my lashes. I would not re-dip it because then it would be super wet but just using whatever's left over looks like that perfect how I like my lower lashes to look. Usually mascara wands will totally like be too big and get on my skin, but this one is going pretty nicely. Here are the lashes. All done up and fancy dancy. Almost touching my eyebrows. I feel like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, my lashes will pretty much touch my eyebrows. Uh, this is almost there. So not quite as lengthening, not quite as curling as my Too Faced Better Than Sex. Sorry to compare it to that, but that's my favorite mascara. So I'm gonna compare it to that. I know some people hate, hate that mascara. So I apologize if you're one of them, but you can see what the results are on my lashes for this. Now I always get a little bit of mascara there. If I'm doing eyeshadow and liner and stuff, I never notice it, but since I'm doing bare, I will wipe that away with Q-tip, but just know that happens with literally every mascara that I use. Probably it's my technique. I try really hard to tight line with it and get on the base. So it, it just comes with the territory. It's not this mascara in particular. All of them do that, okay. All right, so here's one more close up look for you to see. So far, I like it. I, I like this one, everything's going well. So as long as it holds up through the eight hour wear test, I will be continuing to use this one and liking it. One of my favorites that I've tried so far uh, off of first impressions. I know a lot can change in wear tests, so I won't really say too much. So then let's just go ahead and see how it performed after eight hours, okay? <laughs> Genius. All right, it's been eight hours, so here are my lashes after that time. I'll keep this short and sweet. So far, so good, I'm digging it. I don't have any smudging or wetness. My lashes are not wet. I have tried mascaras before that, even after eight hours, there's a bit of dampness, but no, nothing, nothing weird. I still have a curl to my lashes. They're not drooping, they're not clumping. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. The proof is in the pudding. That's pretty much all that I need to say about that. Special thanks to Raw Beauty Christie for talking about this mascara several times this month because uh, I may have found a new favorite. <laughs> All right, my love bugs, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching me test out this mascara for you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if this is something that you wanna pick up, if you're gonna give it a shot, and let me know what your favorite mascara is of all time. Like if you could only ever use one more mascara for the rest of your life, which mascara would it be? I'm super curious to hear that. If you are new to my channel and you stopped by for the very first time, hey, what's up, welcome. Go ahead and click that little subscribe button so you get notified about my new videos because I know you want to be a part of our fam bam because I have the best fam bam in the world. No, seriously, you guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much for your continued support. I love you guys and I hope you all have a great, lovely, awesome freaking day.